All right, folks, we're here at Hunt Valley Cars and Coffee today, and I've seen something that I've never seen before. This gentleman brought a tank to Cars and Coffee. So this is, what's your name, sir? Paul. Paul. All right, um, and we want to do a quick little walk around of this vehicle. Sure. It's, it's actually a, uh, it's not a tank. It's a okay. back vehicle reconnaissance tract. Okay. So it's, it's a small and a nimble reconnaissance vehicle. It'll okay. do 52 miles an hour. Okay. It's got a seven speed forward and reverse TN15 transmission. So like an H pattern? No, no, a click shift. Oh, okay. Okay. So not, so an automatic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so hold on, hold on. Back up one second. So, so the first thing I asked you is how'd you get it here? It's drive. It's, it's, it's street legal because it has turn signals, wipers, headlights, uh, the tracks are rubber. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's rubber where it hits the road, no damage to the roads. Uh -huh. um, the model was also amphibious and back here. This will come off and that'll pop on. Okay. If if the shields were up, and okay. it would do eight, it would do eight miles an hour in the water. In the water, does it have a propeller on the back? No, no, the track spinning would oh, okay. up to about eight miles an hour. Okay. And it's, then you said the engine is a Jaguar. It's, it's the Jaguar J60, 4.2 liter, straight line six. Okay. Uh, militarized. Okay. And um, 195 horsepower. Uh -huh. Zero to 30 in 16 seconds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it crawls pretty slow. Yeah, this one's made in 1978. Uh-huh. Um, Check out those welds. The model's been in service since like about 75. This one was in service for 23 years. What country um, uses this? Uh, this was with Great Britain. Okay. And this was in Falklands in Iraq. Okay, and how, how do you actually acquire something like this? Um, I bought it from a mayor, the mayor of uh, a small town in Pennsylvania. Okay. Oh, so it was already here? Yeah, it was already in the U.S. Okay. All, all, all been legalized. So all the armament is disarmed. Everything right. is just, uh, it's like in the movies, it would fire acetylene and oxygen. So okay. No, uh, you know, all right. Safe. And these worst, these are the, the dummy smoke grenade launchers. Okay. So, so I know. This would have been fired to give somebody cover if they had Right. Them. So I know you've got at least one crazy story you can tell us about this thing real quick. Well, one of the fun ones was a couple months ago, um, there's a guy that comes up here that has a YouTube video called Savage Garage, uh -huh. and he sat up in the turret, and we went to McDonald's down here to the drive-thru, uh -huh. and <laughs> caused a little bit of a stir. Wow, we taking a tank a Mac, through, okay. Uh, in, in, a, in a tank. That's but, insane. Uh, but it was, it was fun. Cool. Was, awesome. These were made to be dropped out of the 130 Hercules. Oh, and a parachute. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. It only weighs about nineteen thousand pounds. It's okay. An aluminum alloy. Wow. I could never would have guessed. This you know, is really cool. It's fairly fast. Uh -huh. Not major. You know, not major armament. It's a seventy-six millimeter main gun. Uh huh. It's got a seven sixty-two machine gun on the sides, and then you've got your uh, smoke grenade. And what is this optic that you got right here? That, that's the sighting system. For, uh, oh, okay. For the main armament. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And do you have any kind of social media or anything no. and just drive it <laughs> awesome well thanks for sharing this vehicle with us and um, yeah this is just something really really unique to see so appreciate you sir sure have a great thought day see all right all right here's a look at the j60 motor over here on the side of the uh, and you can't see much but that's what it looks like for the Jaguar fans do you service it yourself yeah it's nice, it's nice money to work with. are you a tank mechanic <laughs> No, but uh, Babcock's Automotive right down the road. Yeah. Uh, we've got all the users' manuals, and with enough voice, we can get the armor off. We dropped a new engine in two years ago. Oh, wow. I mean, we bought a fog engine from the Military Office of Defense, and luckily it bolted in perfectly. We've had the TN15 trans out twice. Okay. Where's the transmission? Underneath the radiator. Oh, okay. All up in here. It's called a TN15. Okay. So some of the things that actually makes this thing street legal, it's like you said, there's turn signals here. Um, I can't really see it, but there is a windshield wiper there and up there. And as you walk around the car or tank. Just because you never know. Yeah, so there is a license plate there underneath my finger, but we're not going to show that to you guys.